Hello survivors, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shred and we are back with another Death Frontier 2 video. Today we're going to be doing a review on Tombstone Assault Rifle, which we reviewed back in 2023, but we're going to do a quick performance check and do a review in 2024. Is it still good? How it performs and such. I'm going to leave down in the description my socials. I'm going to also leave my YouTube membership if you feel, if you feel like supporting me. Let's roll. As always, we are first going to start with skills, items, and then show performance. Now, what I want to mention is, have in mind, this is not a build video. This is a review of the weapon. Performance check, uh, something like that. Think of it like that. Okay, so we're going to go through the skills first, as always. These are our skills. I'm not going to be explaining everything, but this is what we are using. Right. So those are the skills. I'm just going to say one thing. Instead of armor, go for survivor. Do not take armor 5. Survivor 5 is a great skill now. That's all I'm going to say. If you are following my builds, I'll also leave down in the description my uh, tombstone uh, build video. So you can follow up on that where I explain everything in details uh, regarding the skills. Now let's move on to the items. This is what we're using. You can feel free to pause so you can see for yourself the stats and everything. That's our gear. That's our tombstone. Okay, now I'm going to show you the performance. How does this weapon perform against the regular bosses? And then how does it perform in a, a raid building called the Ravenwall, Ravenwall Hospital? Now, let's roll.
and as you've seen the performance of this weapon is still insane uh, i'm gonna go over full stats so you can see how my full stats look like so does it look like so you can have a better look at it you can feel free to pause as i said so you can check everything else go all right some other stats there you go you can pause them so what i want to talk about is what will be the ideal build for me okay in terms of items what we currently have so the the gloves like i really like reckless raider gloves i really do love it but if i could find a perfect gloves with such stats which like are like uh percent maximum percentage on an elite is 50 percent with the perfect stats such as headshot mutated attack speed maximum accuracy reload speed and body damage that would be the perfect uh, or or the or the instead of a body damage uh, would be a uh, ammo capacity that would be the perfect uh, gloves for me headpiece would be headshot mutated attack speed maximum accuracy body damage reload speed so those would be the perfect two uh equipment for the tombstone ideal like for my build but when it comes to the body piece i do definitely go for the reckless raider armor or a camera suit that's those are really good but depends on your skills and such i'm not gonna go into all of these details as i said this is a more of a performance check and such but just just give you some details uh, when it comes to the uh joggers triple sprint stats as high as possible incoming damage uh, inventory capacity and the last set would be probably jog speed for me uh, as i said as high as possible the maximum they can go uh, for the boots triple sprint stats jog speed dodge cooldown and as it is footsteps noise radius or maybe i will go for walk speed but currently i do not have any issues to be honest i really really like as as it is and in terms of statistic i really wouldn't change it statistic is perfect for me i wish it only had a higher movement speed it can go up to 15 percent which mine does not have now now we're going to talk about final verdict you know uh, pros and cons now pros for this weapon are this is the most powerful weapon in the game currently nothing can beat its dps wise when it comes to the headshot builds like literally nothing really easy to build around which is very important thing really easy to play due to very high damage currently the best game uh, the best end game weapon in the game no no doubt about it nothing can beat it currently in terms of as i said headshot uh, headshot uh, build cons are you cannot craft this weapon you can only buy it off the market which is very expensive or you can try your luck with the unique chests and is quite expensive uh, so it's not easy to maintain this weapon like the ammo usually goes like from 3.5k and can go all the way i've seen it sometimes go to, to like over 5k really depends like on the events and everything i would advise you to use this weapon only in a raid buildings such as commerce and ravenwall uh, hospital and that's pretty much it for this video and performance check i hope this was helpful that some of these insights that i gave you were very very uh informative and as always thank you for watching and as i said i'm gonna leave socials down below in the description i'm also gonna leave a youtube membership if you wanna if you feel like supporting me and thank you for always being here liking sharing uh sobbing commenting for all for everything for all the support as always survivors and that'll be it for this video guys till next time peace